Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we are doing a desk setup slash transformation. I'm gonna be upgrading my desk. I am gonna be changing some things around on my setup and I'm also giving you a mini desk tour because you guys ask for one all the time. I am so excited for you guys to see this, so I hope you enjoy it. Now, my brand new desk is from this company called FlexiSpot. This was kindly gifted to me. My last desk was from them as well. They also gave me this cable spine to hopefully help me actually manage my cables because if you guys have watched any of my videos before, well, I show you here, they're a mess. They're an absolute mess, so they need sorting out. So I'm so excited. I'm also gonna be upgrading the keypad on my desk as well. This is the one that I have currently. I'm not gonna lie, this thing is absolutely rubbish. The buttons get stuck all the time. It just looks cheap and yeah, it's done me well up until now, but needs to say, I am very, very excited to finally upgrade this and get a nice sleek looking one. It looks like from the instructions, you can literally just use this, which for me, I'm not gonna lie, is a godsend because I can literally never find the drawer in this house. So I'm literally on step one. I've literally done that one thing and unboxed it. And I just had a thought, why don't we time how long it actually takes me to build this? Because I suck at building stuff. What's the time? Okay guys, this is the new tabletop. It is so big. So it is 1559 <laughs> and I have made it this far. So I would say that pretty much the desk is built now. I just need to set up the all the wiring and stuff. So this has taken me around 45 minutes. However, I will say that I have been filming this. So basically it's taken me way longer than it should take you. I would genuinely say you can build this desk in like 20 minutes, which is insane. And I've done it all with literally this tool, which I'm not gonna lie. It's pretty cool. So at this stage, you wanna actually think about where you wanna put your keypad. So if you wanna put it on the left-hand side or the right-hand side. I've done this before, I put it on the left and then I put it all up and I was like, crap, I wanted that to be on the right. So make sure at this point, don't rush this step. Make sure you put your keypad where you want. Nearly done, guys. This is, uh, this is my progress. Honestly, trying to do this and film it was so hard. But basically, this is a cable tray and it's supposed to go on top of there, but I literally can't fucking figure it out. So I'm giving up with it. It's done, now I'm gonna flip it round. <laughs> All right, you ready? Yeah. Yeah. Damn, that's heavy. It's really heavy, isn't it? Yeah. Like, you're even gonna get on it. Whoa. Damn. I could probably get on there with you. You probably get it, come on. Like, 
a double bed. <laughs> You're not allowed on it, Ginny. Mm. This literally is a double bed. Plug it in and write me up. Huh? Oh my god, it's like a hospital bed. Yeah, literally. <laughs> So this is the current state of the office. I'm not gonna lie, this is quite possibly the messiest my office has ever been. Okay, I need to get rid of the rubbish. I need to basically just tidy up and yeah. Right now, I'm actually like just currently struggling to walk around this room because there's just so much stuff in here. Like I've got keyboards over there. It's just all a big mess. So we need to just tidy it all up. Basically my aim is to just tidy tonight and then take everything off there tomorrow and put it on this new one and then hopefully the desk will be done and then obviously I need to do the cable management because that is a mess. Yeah. Good morning everyone. I know I said I was going to get up early and do this, however I have not. It is currently 9.39. When I got home this morning from my boyfriend's which was at like half seven i honestly was just way too tired to be doing cable management and stuff so i decided to work first so i literally sat in bed did an hour and a half of work and now i'm coming to do my desk i'm sorry i must apologize for all of the cat hair on my jumper but it's because i've literally just sat wendy up in her little bed here <laughs> so she can keep me company while i do my desk she loves it here I'm gonna figure out which way is the right way. <laughs> Lefty Lucy. A lot of people actually ask about my monitor arm. This is an ER Gear single monitor arm. Um, I actually, as you can tell, spray painted it pink. Has chipped in a few places, obviously, where it's like hit the wall. Um, there where I didn't let it dry properly before I moved it up. So, yeah, that is my monitor arm. This is my monitor. <laughs> Just a quick tip for standing desks. So as you can see with my standing desk, I literally have ruined my wall. Um, so don't make this mistake. So with your standing desk, you literally need to leave a big enough gap for your monitor arm. So never put your standing desk this close to the wall because you are gonna make that scratch if you've got a monitor arm. Um, and also, yeah, just with anything, just be really, really careful. So when I put my monitor on, I'll make sure that there's a nice enough gap when I raise the desk so that it doesn't end up scratching the wall. Okay, so I wanna show you what I have for cable management. So previously, as we know, my cables have basically not been managed, but FlexiSpot did also send me this cable spine. So basically, it looks like this. I have one issue and I'm about to bodge this and I feel like you guys are literally gonna be like, Liv, what are you doing? But basically, I do not have a drill. Don't ask me why. I'm literally gonna tape it. I'm gonna tape it where I want it so I can organize all the cables. So I'm gonna get my boyfriend to do this properly for me later, but I did kind of manage to get one screw in. <laughs> and yeah, just so I can actually do it today. But yeah, don't do what I've done and literally screw them in by hand because it's fucking stupid. Uh, I am going to get my boyfriend to fix that later, but at least we can set it up now and I can show you. Like this. I honestly don't actually really use this tower anymore. So this is a Linux PC. It is an amazing PC. Um, however, I definitely need to update it and I don't really use it. I just use my MacBook. However, there are some instances in which I do need to use this.
Okay, so basically all my cables are in this little spine, which honestly, I don't know how people make it look good because I struggled, but yeah, basically when you lift up the desk, the spine kind of comes with it. And when you put it down, it also goes with it. So it looks a lot better than it did. Under here, I've literally taped all of the wires to the top so that they don't dang dangle down. I need to just do that a little bit there, I guess. But yeah, that's my favorite management. You guys, I'm finally done. This took way longer than expected. Honestly, it took so long, but I'm so, so happy with the end result. So I literally showed my boyfriend and my mum and they were both like, it literally doesn't even look that different. And I was like, are you kidding me? Like I've literally spent so long on this, but I'm gonna run you through everything that I've changed and also just do a quick little setup tour for you um, because I think that the changes that I have made are really important for a standing desk and also just for like productivity and all of that good stuff so yeah let's do a quick run through so the first obvious thing is that wendy's bed is underneath the desk <laughs> no i'm joking that's not the most important thing but how adorable does she look down there so the biggest difference is that well i think the biggest difference is that the desktop is much bigger on this desk so originally i had a 160 times 80 centimeters uh, Beckham tabletop from Ikea, which I'd screwed onto a flexi spot under frame. However, this desktop is 180 by 180. So what that's done is given me this extra bit on the side. So this extra kind of depth on the side, which I've done some stuff with. So we'll run through that in a minute. But yeah, also this desktop is obviously a lot better quality than um, a Beckham tabletop from Ikea. There was absolutely nothing wrong with the Beckham tabletop from Ikea, but I definitely can notice that this one is a lot thicker. There's literally barely any wobble on this. Um, when I um, use the standing function on the desk, it literally doesn't wobble at all. Compared to my other one, it did definitely wobble. So yes, and also I have moved the drawers that were originally on the right hand side, I've moved them over here and I've pushed my desk up against the wall. So these drawers are literally super messy, but they just kind of hold like all of my keyboards, all of my tech stuff. Um, yeah, this drawer is literally as messy. It's got my MacBook, Pro, my new MacBook Pro in there. I do have a video coming soon setting up my MacBook for programming and data science. Um, there's just a slight delay on that and I will explain why in my next vlog. So on top of these drawers, I've put my little Hello Kitty bag that I got from Thailand and also my little My Melody plush. I also put my pink cat light, my pink cat LED light on here, but literally in the process of redoing my setup, it has broke. So I need to buy another one. So moving over into this corner, we have Brenda. If you guys have been here for a while, you know Brenda. She is, as always, in desperate need of water, but <laughs> I moved her over into this light blue pot. Mighty Boom is one of my favorite things on my desk. It is basically a little speaker slash clock. I did spray paint these keycaps to be pink because they originally were that yellow color, but I never really figured out how to spray paint that yellow around the actual screen without the paint getting everywhere. So I never did it. And then next to it, of course, I have my pencil pot, which, or my pen pot, I should say, which weirdly is like one of the favorite things on my desk. I'm also trying to increase my water intake, so I need to have some of this. In my desk drawer, I just have my sticky notes, my spare wrist rests, and just a load of screws and kind of like Bluetooth um, USBs that I need as well, and obviously my keycap puller. Keyboard choice, I went for the Razer Quartz 10 keyless keyboard, which is one of my favorite keyboards. I absolutely love it. I think it sounds amazing. And as always, I have my Razer Strider gaming mouse mat with my Razer Orochi gaming mouse in quartz with my limited edition um, Delta Hub wrist rest in pink. This side, I have added this little box I got off of AliExpress. I think, and I'm not gonna lie, I think I literally got it for like two pounds. On here, I've popped my wireless charging stand where I can put my Apple Watch, my phone, and then there's a little space for AirPods here. Also got my Razer fidget spinner as well, which I love. I got it with some Razer PR, so I don't know if they actually sell these, but yeah, 
Um, if they do, I'll try and link them below because this, this is really cool. Here I've got my little Sanrio notepad that I got this weekend actually in London in Artbox in Covent Garden. By the way, I literally just dyed my hair because I'm literally greying at the age of 25 so I have to dye my hair. Nobody come at me for doing box dye by myself. I literally don't care, but I've literally got hair dye on my hands and I'm trying to finish filming this video. So please don't judge me for my hands, I'm sorry. My little Davoom mood lamp, which I'm pretty sure you guys have seen before on my channel. Um, I love this thing. Literally so customizable. You can do loads of different things, color changing ones. And then I've just got this little, my Melody plushie that I got from Artbox in Brighton, two weekends ago actually. Okay, and then on my pegboard, I changed up one of the boxes of keycaps to this box of cream keycaps because I felt like there was literally way too much pink going on there. I put my new um, Razer headphones on here. So these are the Kitty Kraken Pros. These are a super cool pair of headphones. They light up, you can change the ears. So I've got bunny ears for them and the kitty ears. As you can see, I've got the bare ones on. I think they're literally so adorable. If you follow me on Instagram or TikTok, you've seen these already. So we are nearly done. This is the brand new keypad. So I believe this is the FlexiSpot premium keypad. So this looks so sleek and so nice compared to the one that I had before. If you guys seen it, you pro I probably showed it at the start of this video, but yeah. Really nice, all touch screen. You're also supposed to be able to lock in specific heights. So for example, you can set one as like your standing height and then number two as your sitting height. So you're supposed to be able to just press them and then they go to the exact height for your preferred standing or sitting position. However, I literally cannot get them to work. So I'm gonna definitely be contacting FlexiSpot about that. They're super helpful. So I hope that we should be able to get that sorted. I'm probably just doing something stupid, but yeah, it actually looks super nice. I'm super, super happy with that. It looks so sleek. My PC is still here to the right. Um, I like to balance my laptop on it um, and everything is kind of plugged into the back of my MacBook to, so that my MacBook can power my monitor. I do often get questions about my chair. So a quick run through. My chair is from Secret Lab. It is the Titan Evo um, and I have it in the color blush pink. This chair is honestly perfect for my setup. It's super comfy, I highly recommend it. It's the best thing that I've bought for my setup. And this Karomi headrest I got from a shop on Etsy. However, I think they're sold out. So I will link the shop below, um, so go check them out. But yeah, you can also get like ones for your car as well. That would be totally fine for your desk chair if you're interested in getting one. But yeah, that is an overview of my desk, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm pretty sure that I covered everything, but if I missed anything, if there's anything you still want to know the answer to, let me know and I will answer in the comments. Um, other than that, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment. Me and Wendy will see you guys in the next video. Wendy, do you want to say goodbye? Wendy, do you want to say goodbye?